So I thought I'd give you some quick tips for making longer videos uh, and getting longer watch times on your videos from, you know, the king of making really long videos where you just talk, me. And um, first of all, I'd like to address why you want to have, you know, long video watch time in the first place. So the reason you want to have a long watch time is because, uh, as you know, YouTube says that what they value most in a video is watch time. It's how long did somebody watch this video? And we're not talking about, you know, relative watch time, meaning like, let's say you have a video that's like an hour long and somebody watched it for 30 minutes. It doesn't matter if it's an hour long and somebody watched it for 30 minutes or if it's 30 minutes long and somebody watched it for 30 minutes. What YouTube does care about is how much absolute watch time every video has. So you could have a 10 hour video and people watch like 50 minutes of it. It's still going to get promoted a lot higher than a 30 minute video that people watch 20 minutes of, you know, of the same content. And the reason is because YouTube and the various networks, uh, you know, the social media channels, they're all competing for the consumer's attention. Because in the past, it would be, YouTube would be more about, you know, keyword search. Like, how can we make this, you know, the best keywords win, just like Google. But now people are, the, the channels are competing to get your attention. So Facebook, you know, wants you to stay on Facebook. Instagram wants you to stay on Instagram. You know, they might switch. Instagram might send you to Facebook, but that's because Facebook owns Instagram. But, and so just like YouTube can send you to Google, but Snapchat will never send you, you know, outside of there uh, because it doesn't, why would it, you know, send you there? And if it does, it's like, okay, I have to, you know, just like Facebook, you post a video, it's, you don't even, you can't even play the video from your uh, Facebook app you have to go to the link that's because they're competing with uh, YouTube on videos so anyway uh, you know as I've said I'm the king of over talking um, YouTube is promoting videos based on watch time so if somebody made a video about meditation and you made a video about meditation and people watch your video an average of three minutes and they watch their video an average of 15 minutes that video is gonna kill your video, you know, even if it has slightly less good keywords, uh, because it's just a lot more profitable for YouTube to keep you there. So, um, one example is, uh, you know, a guy who's like uh, really gotten big because of this one thing, is a guy from a channel named actualized.org on YouTube. Uh, this guy is basically, his name is uh, Leo, and he just, uh, he makes videos, he has like a black pitch black screen behind him. His face is like this, like like this when he's talking, something like this. And uh, the, basically all his videos are like that. And he talks about pretty much every single subject, you know, related to self-development, sort of like me. But every video he does is between 30 minutes to two hours. So he's really like making the long videos and he's he meditates a lot. He meditates an hour a day like I used to uh, but he's doing it for years, so he's like a hypnotic as shit. Like he can be really hypnotic when he speaks, so he gets really, really long watch times. So, you know, when you seek something like, okay, how to meditate, you're gonna find his video pretty much always like at the top. Because, and it's like such a strong, you know, keyword. It's like how to meditate. It, it couldn't be a more popular keyword. And why is he at the top? Because he, people watch his content the, like for so long in every sitting so um, you know somebody might make a video about meditation you know the, the comp competition you could say uh, and it's like a five minute video or three minute video a 10 minute video a 15 minute video 20 minute video and then you have his video like BAM one hour 30 minutes one hour video you know and people actually watch it like most of the way through if not all the way through on average and that's why his videos like blast up on the rankings even though he's using super uh, popular, super competitive keywords. So again, the more, um, 
the, the more watch time you have per video, absolute watch time, the more that video is gonna go up. So if YouTube is gonna have to make a decision, you know, it, and it's, it's not a real human being making that decision, it's uh, anthropomorphic, you know, it's like uh, the algorithm, if it has to make a decision between you, your video and somebody else's video, and it knows that your video is gonna have much more watch time, it's gonna choose you every time. So this explains why you want a long, as long watch time as you can possibly get. And I hope you're completely aligned on that. So, you know, that's like the biggest way you can market yourself. Uh, you need to, of course, learn a bit more about keywords and, you know, how to actually rank it, how to actually write the best uh, titles and keywords so that you actually get, you know, uh, searched for. But beyond that, it's just a matter of the long watch time. The more watch time you have, that's like the biggest factor for ranking higher on YouTube. It's not subscribers, it's not anything else. It's just how much watch time are you gonna get. So now that we're over that, uh, let's talk about actually making the video. So let's say that you um, have a coaching channel and you wanna talk about coaching related videos. So, or maybe a fitness channel or a makeup channel, whatever it is. And what, what you wanna do is you wanna ask yourself a few questions before you make your video and that's what's gonna allow you to get that longer watch time. And these questions are, are questions that are meant to bring out the human side, the personality of you out into the surface. So the example for some of these questions would be um, why is this subject so important to me? So why is it important to me for me to talk about this subject? Another question could be what is a good story that I can tell about this subject? Like how it happened to me. Another question could be what happened when I applied what I, I'm teaching uh, in this video? Another question could be what happened when I didn't apply what happened to this video? So. You're going to see a common theme of that. You know, I don't do it um, um, intentionally, but I do it unintentionally but, but at this point when I make my videos where I, I would make a video and I'd say like, um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's all about the daily habits. And when I didn't apply the daily habits, then this happened to me and this happened to me. And when I started applying daily habits, this happened, this happened. Oh, and the client, this happened to him. And this is why daily habits are so important. So the reason I can talk so much about everything is because I just put my personality out there. I just, uh, I, I let myself speak about the personal shit. I don't just talk about the subject and I'm like, okay, that's the subject. Uh, now, you know, I have to say it very fast. And wh when I say it, you know, I have to finish the video. It's like, it's not like, hey, this is a, this is a subject, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you're done. Okay, I'm, yeah, I don't wanna waste your time. You know, because most people, the reason they, they're so bad about making long videos is because they're afraid of wasting other people's time. So they're like, oh, I'm such a piece of shit. You know, if I don't have anything good to talk about, it means I'm wasting somebody else's time. And I want to make sure that I, you know, I have to speak it so properly because everybody's time is so important. And, you know, you don't even take into account that the guy who's watching, you know, it just it was just watching like uh, like a 20 minute, you know, prank or something on YouTube and um, yeah you, you really have to put your personality personality out there and these questions are like what makes it really really um, simple not easy but simple once you get used to it, it it is easy like for me at this point it's a lot easier to put my personality out there than it was like two months ago when I was uh, you know kind of just starting out you know of course I had like a lot of videos before but just started out, starting out with like making videos consistently every day, uh, especially five videos a day. <laughs> so, um, so these are my tips basically. It's to, again, number one is realize the importance of watch time. Once you realize how important it is, you're not gonna want to make it short because you realize that the longer it is, the more you get rewarded for it. And number two tip is again, ask yourself these questions that will allow you to, to, to basically bring out the human side of the of the video 
where you talk about again what matters to you as a human not just about the subject as a whole so i hope this uh makes a lot of sense um you know feel free to in the comments like write down hey i'm also doing videos you know tell me if you're also doing videos because then i can check out your content i can uh you know give you quick fi quick feedback uh, let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you soon.